I recently made a mini for Roseanne, Roxy Car 11, and I had a video of it uh, on YouTube. And I had some inquiries with regard to the envelope folio that I made for that mini. So I uh, thought I would do a little tutorial. This is the uh, type of, of uh, folio I had. In, in Roseanne's Mini. This one I've just used plain craft paper on. It closes with a belly band and this uses a number 10 envelope and you open this up. Now this one I have on Roseanne's, I didn't make this a pocket, but on this envelope uh, folio I turned this the front into a pocket and on the inside you have room for pictures and pictures here and I turned these two side flaps into uh, pockets also on this particular one. I didn't on Roseanne's but each one of these you can have uh, a little um, tag for journaling or whatever on that and uh, on Roseanne's this was a solid piece and these were solid pieces on Roseanne's and again it closes like this I haven't finished this one. I am going to put designer paper on this one um, before I actually put it in, in a mini. And you just close it with a belly band. And this one, again, I used a, a number 10 envelope to make that folio. This is one that I, this is a folio that I've made and I've used this invitation envelope. I don't know what size it is, but I've used exactly the same method to make it. Again, it closes with the little belly band. And on this one, I, as you can see, this envelope is straight across. And so that kind of uh, determines how I uh, make the, the folio. And it closes like this. There is no pocket here, although you could turn this into a pocket. And then you have little sides, and they open like this. And these I've made turned into little pockets for um, tags. And again, this closes. You put the flaps in, and you close it like this. And I use a belly band. Okay, this is so very, very simple to do. This is any envelope. This is a number 10 envelope. You find the center point. And when you find the center point, you open the flap and you fold the sides in like this. And then when you get the sides folded in, then you want to take your folded in sides and you want to cut. You cut this part off and you cut this part out and you cut on the fold just to the bottom of the envelope and that gives you your two sides and it gives you your your folio. I always take a little bit more off of here so that when you fold it over it's not going to get caught and I also take a little more off here or off here. So then I take my um, designer paper, craft paper, and I cut my my um, flaps. Now on, on the one I did for Roseanne I made this a solid side and this a solid side. But on the one that I showed you today I cut this and I put a piece in here. Then obviously you cut a piece that would fit here and I cut a piece. On Roseanne's I cut a piece that was like this and the same size piece and that gives you this this little folio. These are the, the flaps. And again on this one because I was going to make a, a little tag for it I turned it into a pocket. I just took the same took my paper and I made the, the sh shape and then I put my uh, craft paper on that for my uh, tag and again on the pockets instead of doing the solid here I uh, made the pockets so that I'll be able to put my tags in the pockets. And quite simply, that's how you make this folio. Really, it makes kind of a cute addition to minis. Um, it isn't hard to do, and it's kind of fun. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you for your interest.